Two local nonprofit organizations are partnering with Florida Southern College to bring a dramatic one-woman play based on the stories of young women who are victims of dating violence. All the details are coming up on Polk Plays. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Jeremy Moretti, and with me today we have three wonderful guests with us. Uh, the first is Dr. Lilani Goodman, who is a professor of psychology at Florida Southern College and also a member of the Heather's Hope Executive Board. Emily Reddy, who is the vice president of the Psychology Club at Florida Southern College. And Kathy Southern, who is the director of education and community relations for Heartland for Children. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thanks Thank for you having for having us. Well, it's nice to see all y'all here today. And uh, you've got some exciting news, bringing some uh, new performance, I guess, to uh, Florida Southern College. Do you want us to start off? Sure. Uh, we are bringing the Yellow Dress play to Florida Southern College. Mm -hmm. It'll be on February 12th from 6.30 to 7.30 in Branscombe Auditorium. It's free and open to the public, and we invite everyone to come out and learn about the early warning signs of a possible uh, abusive relationship. Okay, and that's what the play focuses on, on you know, young women's stories of dating violence and basically the things to, to look out for. Uh, why Florida Southern College? Um, you know, why right now? Uh, tell us a little bit about the, the emphasis of your role at the college, the students, and everything going on? Well, I'm a professor at Florida Southern College, and I'm also the advisor of the Psychology Club. Um, Emily is the uh, vice president of our Psychology Club, and I also work on the board of Heather's Hope, and one of Heather's Hope's main initiatives is to partner with Heartland for Children and Deanna's Educational Theater mm -hmm. to bring the yellow dress to our local high schools. And uh, this year we wanted to bring it back to Florida Southern, so we've been successful mm -hmm. in, in doing that. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the production? What goes on? Uh, is this a traveling show? Is it local folks putting this on? How all does that come well, together and um, work? We actually, Heartland for Children contracts with Dina's Educational Theater. Mm -hmm. um, the Yellow Dress play was um, written by Deborah Lake Fortson and um, produced by Sydney Patton and they have allowed us to, to purchase limited production rights. So I believe at this point we're one of the only agencies currently um, doing that in that fashion. Um, so we can, we can bring 10 performances each year to our local community. It's a one woman play. It's designed to be within an, about an hour's time. So there's about 20 minutes of the performance and then after the performance, there's a lot of dialogue and discussion. We wanna make sure that participants can identify the early warning signs of an abusive relationship, that they know how to get help, and you know that they, they can recognize um, when they need help or for themselves or for someone else. So we, we process through all of that. Um, we, we talk about things, you know, it's not just a, it's not just a female issue. This happens in, in, to men and, and in same-sex relationships. So we really delve into the specifics of um, dating abuse, and it's really designed to be t teen dating violence prevention. Um, for Heartland for Children, it's very important for us to come on the front end of this issue in our society to prevent it because we know how much it impacts children and their families. Um, we, see it, we see them coming in the child welfare system and, and domestic violence is a critical issue in our community and it's one that we're, we're um, having to face daily in the child welfare system. Well, and not only that, but also looking at it from the college aspect mm -hmm. that I know when I came up through college, None of that was ever really discussed with students. I mean, sure, you may have heard about something here or there, but there was no education about it. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your role, Emily, and how things are going with the school in relation to this? Yeah, it's definitely important to like open up that conversation to college students. And you know, one of uh, Psychology Club's like main focus for um, this year is mental health awareness, and um, th that's a big part of you know, domestic violence and getting exposed to that, children as well, um, you know, they're exposed to domestic violence among the parents and that can really affect their mental health for, you know, years to come. So 
this is like an important subject for all of us to learn about. Well, it's a great conversation to have, and it, someone coming out to this, um, I know you said that you're opening this up to anybody free of charge. Branscombe's mm -hmm. a great auditorium for that, uh, fit a lot of people. Um, what can they expect to see in that dialogue? In um, are they talking to you, other students? Are you getting up there? Do you have other professionals <laughs> that folks can reach out to that they might not want to, you know, be in the big public discussion? But you know, is there a side table they can go off I, to? And I will talk be to part someone? of that discussion. Um, you know, leading that discussion. We typically have. We like to have a, a male and a female lead that discussion because we think this is an issue that crosses sure. both genders. It's it's very important. So we we engage in that dialogue and with them, and we talk about. Things that, as you mentioned, aren't always brought to the forefront. Um, domestic violence is um, is something that people don't typically share, you know, while they're out to dinner with friends. And and we want we want this to be a more mainstream issue, along with obviously mental health awareness. But we want people to to understand it, to talk about it, and and to really know, understand the patterns, and and to know where to get help. I mean, that's really the critical piece of it. So. During that discussion, participants are going to be able to ask questions. We typically have um, also mental health professionals that are in the audience. Inevitably, there's there's someone who's just touched in a, in a profound way by this play, and we want to make sure that there's people there to talk them through that as well. Okay. So one of the organizations I know you're involved in is Heather's Hope. How do they play in uh, a role to this? Can you give us a little bit of background on that? Sure. So Heather's Hope is a local organization founded um, by um, friends and family of Heather Rimmer, who was tragically uh, killed uh, by her husband in front of her two children um, some years ago. And uh, her friends and family really wanted to do something to prevent this sort of violence in the home. And uh, Heather and um, her husband began dating when they were teens. And uh, there were some early signs even back then so it's really important for Heather's Hope organization to warn um, teens and young people about these early signs so they can take steps to get out of those relationships earlier rather than later when it's too late. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's a wonderful organization, a wonderful production coming that I really think is going to benefit the community overall. So thank you so much, guys, for putting this together. Thank you so much thank for having us. And, yep, thank you for coming it. in. With permission from Dina's Educational Theater, Heartland for Children is partnering with Heather's Hope Foundation and Florida Southern College to bring The Yellow Dress to our local community. The Yellow Dress is a dramatic one-woman play based on the stories of young women who are victims of dating violence. The carefully constructed program simulates thought-provoking discussion about relationships, a topic important to everyone. Participants will have the opportunity to discuss what healthy relationships look like, how to identify early warning signs, of an abusive relationship and how to get help for themselves and others. The Yellow Dress strives to bring awareness of the importance of domestic violence prevention and to provide helpful resources to the local community. The Yellow Dress will be presented Tuesday, February 12th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. at Branscombe Auditorium on Florida Southern College's campus. For more information, you can give them a call at 863-519-8900 or look them up on the web at www heartlandforchildren.org.